Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be getting into a quick video about an especially horrendous scam that I just need to get on right now because I want to disrupt this as quickly as possible because there's been this new trend on YouTube. I think we covered uh, once a fake hacker. It was like an Instagram hacker, but it was on YouTube. Now, this is a scam that claims it will detect it will decipher your ransomware for you now first of all let's explain why this is impossible because you may think if you can crack software why can't you crack ransomware well the answer is because the ransomware never knew how to decrypt the decryption key is on the cyber criminals server that or somewhere they just have it it's never on your computer the ransomware sample only contains the encryption key that's because encryption is asymmetric, which is how it works. So there is no possible way from the source code of ransomware or any requests the ransomware makes to get the decryption key. This is why your option in the real world is you can either pay the ransom or lose the data. Ideally, you have it backed up. That's the correct solution, backup security. Uh, otherwise, you've got to assess what you want to do. There are also, there are legitimate companies you can hire that will do what's called a ransomware negotiation. I don't provide the service, I don't know anyone I could recommend that does, but it is a legitimate thing. Other than that, paying to fix ransomware by anyone who is not the person who ransomed you is a guaranteed scam. So let's see what these guys are doing. Linux! <gasps> Hacker man. Okay, so they've been encrypted with the ransomware. Okay. Now here we have, just like we saw for the other fake scripts, uh, here we have a fake ransomware decryption script. This is just a Python script that says it is decrypting. Now while it's not really conclusive evidence, uh, we get a, a frame of the screen being cleared here. Now that's probably not the jump cut. Okay, maybe it was. And here we go. So, what's the trick here? Well, anyone who's ever edited videos, even if you're not that good at it, could probably tell you that's just a splice, as they would say in speedrunning or jump cut. Now, let's take a look at the website. Now, we've got a .ru. Now, I believe this is another case, like what we saw before, of a bogus .ru. I do not believe the people running the scam are actually in Russia. They are simply, uh, I mean, they're, they're simply jacking the reputation of Russia in, because Russia is known for hacking and, uh, and, generally having talent in this field they're jacking that because these guys are not these guys are probably not in russia so we are experts in ransomware removal computer security and cryptography 25 years of experience i don't think ransomware has existed for 25 years 24 7 guaranteed removal i've been scammed so many times but finally i found dgvu decryptor and i recovered my two-year-old files without paying to criminal okay so first of all this is clever because People, there's like a group of people who fall for a lot of scams. I am saying to so many people who say that this was going to be a con artist game, that this was going to be a scammer game. Hey, you're going to lose all your money? My wife still doesn't believe in me. You're going to hear, oh, I finally found the real one. It's actually an effective uh, marketing technique. Okay, so we verify our ID. The decryptor. Okay. Bypass. Private key. That's not how ransomware works. You cannot do that. Uh, this, if we Google image search this, is probably... Oh, oh, this is this is a bit more confusing than the old uh, Google image search. Yup, uh, this is stolen from bleeping computer. Now, using an image... Uh, Without permission, well, it is copyright infringement, but you know, it's something that happens, but that's that's a red flag. And this is the most popular uh, ransomware decryptor. And then they put the logos of various cybersecurity companies they have nothing to do with on here. How does it work? Rapid evaluation. Deep analysis. Hi, my name is James and I work as a professional photographer. So yesterday something happened that I want to share with you. I downloaded a cracked software and unfortunately my computer got infected with the Kote ransomware virus. <laughs> I kind of I kind of vibe with this one because, you know, actually that probably happened. I, I don't know if it happened to him, but that is the kind of thing that would happen, although it probably be a stealer. Now this virus encrypted all of my clients' photos and videos. Eventually I stumbled upon Stop DJ Video the Crypto on YouTube and uh, I believe I contacted them on WhatsApp. Yeah, and then I purchased their tool to retrieve my data. 
following the instruction that was given to me i was able to recover all of my files that were previously encrypted by the virus so these testimony videos are honestly of fake testimonials i have seen these are pretty good uh, the people in them have a plausible story doesn't sound like th these people do not sound like they have no idea like the scripts here are good and the actors are good are decent at their jobs i mean unfortunately uh they they should know better i mean if you're being asked to read a script like that you are involved in a oh my boy i mean wh what he made it uh, okay you know I, I said his attention seeking wasn't going now bro you made you made <laughs> and this is a different ui for the decryptor so what's funny is they've actually created a bunch of different uh fake oh so this was the ransomware payload that i never actually saw i wonder where i even got this video from that's so funny given though later if you pay we will provide you the programs for decryption life is too short uh to be sad okay that is right though Nobulge did try uh, did have a ransomware arc before uh, they turned they, they skidded uh some lock bit tool and they actually did have a little uh a ransomware now of course chances are the way this video is made is actually the same way some weight loss scams are made where the after is actually filmed before because you never see the windows clock in any of these videos which is interesting. Wow, this scam has been going on for a while. I mean, this YouTube channel has videos going back years. Now, a trick I often use when I'm just looking to see is the slip up in either OPSEC or like the. the usually, people get more professional over time. So, if you're going to find uh, a, someone showing something they shouldn't have, it's going to be in their older stuff. This one's like a, a 2008 YouTube tutorial. Now, just from personal experience, blurring things reliably in videos really difficult. Much easier way of hiding things zooming. So whenever you see a zoom in a video, yep, never a bad idea to think about what would have been masked by it. Like the clock in this case. You can tell these guys have an interest in not showing the clock, but why? And here we have what looks like uh, a SHA, some sort of SHA hash for the personal ID. Yeah, it just gives us some instructions that could sound legitimate to someone who doesn't know anything about computers. Uh, so we get an email, an Instagram, a Telegram, and a website. Well, we've got a chat on this website, so let's just see what we can do. Now, there's also a blog, so they're also attempting SEO uh, for regular search engines, but they're probably having more success off of YouTube, because while this channel is not popular, 40,000 views with high intense searches, this is not, it's not like they have a lot of subscribers, right? Like, the views on these videos are coming from people searching and seeing a convincing, misleading video. The conversion rate on this is going to be high. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, realistically, if you did actually get ransomware, especially if you're an individual, not a company with a big budget, trying to pay a, a small amount of ransom if the files are critical to you is the only solution. Uh, just part of my Discord that sent this to me has also just sent me a any run link containing the actual sample. Or I don't even know if sample is the right word because this is not a uh, this is this is not malware. This is just scamware. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can agree with the title here. This this is complete rubbish. Don't waste your time. Took time sixty seconds. Get sample. Basic. Oh, okay. It's probably Visual Basic. Okay. Well, uh, let me go get IL Spy, and then we have the entire source code of this scam, and we can actually see what it really does. Okay. This is. Yeah. So it's it's fake. It's essentially it's a Visual Studio form program. Uh, the code doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, we've got a bunch of these different text boxes, and then if we click on the button, you know, there's a popular saying that only a bad carpenter blames his tools, but I'm going to add on to that. Uh, only a truly terrible carpenter would use uh, one uh, inferior free tool over another. Uh, I, I don't have an issue with IL Spy, but DN Spy is just better, so let's just move to that. So one of the weird things here is, like a Trojan, we've got a fake name on the file. Okay, so in fact, the ID is just a string. That's what we were curious about. 
Uh, not a lot of uh, hacking needed to figure out this scam. Your ID is expired by hackers. Please update your ID. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. So. File system. Okay. So there is some bogus cryptography. But. So there is in fact no correct ID for this program. That is lazy. Lazy. Uh, it's definitely uh, a bit lazy to use a fixed ID, especially given, I mean, you could use some sort of key generation algorithm, but okay, there you go. So this is a total scam, as it had to be. I mean, it's just simply impossible, but it's not the kind of thing where it's obvious. I mean, someone who doesn't know much about computers could be fooled into believing this was legitimate. So that's going to be all for this video. Please do not at fall for this scam. Please just, if you, just know, for ransomware, the only way out is losing your data or paying. There's no, there's no magical solutions. Only magical solution is if the FBI raid them and manage to get the master key. That is uncommon. So that's going to be all for this video. Hope it was interesting. Hope it was informative. Uh, these people are evil for running this kind of a scam to people who've already been victimized. So for now, bye.